Brooks. So Iris, that's why Kevin had to pretend about the autopsy and why uh, Shelley was on the payroll. All right, all right. I've heard all of that from Ricky. Well, then where'd you get the idea that there was a plot? Because I couldn't imagine why you wouldn't tell me. I'm his wife. Surely you know I would never do anything to hurt Alex. No, of course not, but someone close to you. You mean... you think you know? Who? Elliot. Oh, please, of all the unlikely suspects. No, Iris, he was the most likely. Oh, that's absurd, really. How anyone could suspect well, Elliot. Well, Alex did. What? Alex thought he might be a very dangerous man. He did? When did he tell you that? The night Elliot threatened you. Remember? Come on, Iris, he threatened your yes, life. Yes, I... He did frighten me. He, he was so changed, but, but that passed. The next day, he was just the way he'd always been. Or he pretended he was. But why would he want to do that? Why would he want to hurt Alex? Because Alex knew something about him. He had to for Elliot to agree to leave town. Perhaps he did. Do you know what it was? Alex wouldn't tell me. But it doesn't matter. When Dennis objected, Alex gave Elliot more no, no, time, No, no, but Elliot so... still had a deadline, so Alex was holding something over him. Did you know that Alex hired a special investigator? No. He asked him to look into Elliot's background, and he did find something incriminating, something about Elliot's conduct in that prison camp. Is that why you went to Bangkok to talk to him? That's right. What did you find out? Well, nothing yet. Nothing? I've been kept here for nothing? Iris, there's a oh, man over there who's your wounded. Friend. I've heard enough from you. You have involved us all in some stupid scheme, and it is based on nothing but speculation. All right, I've heard you out, and I reject this cloak and dagger nonsense completely. Oh, look at him. Completely at your mercy. I won't have it. I want you to let us go, Ryan. Let me take him with me. There's no need for him to be kept hidden away. Now tell Ricky to let us go. No. Yes. What was that? His hand. His, his, his hand moved. you hear me? Darling? Iris. Oh. Oh. Iris. Oh. Alex Ryan. Ryan, he's coming too. Quick, Kevin. I'm here, darling. Yes, yes. Iris, please. forgive me. No, 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 please. Let me stay. He moved. It's all right. He's coming it's all right, Shelley. Out of He's coming back to me, Alex. Sorry. Alex. Keep talking, Iris. Darling, it's me. It's Iris. Iris? Oh, God, did you see? No, Iris, you'll drift in and out. Won't be surprised if he seems a little disoriented. Stay with him. Keep yes. talking. Help him find his way back. I won't leave his side. Darling. Darling, it's Iris. Can you feel me? Once you said that that my touch brought you alive. Oh, please, God. Let it happen again. Please help me bring him back. I love you, Alex. Don't leave me. No. How is he, Kevin? Is he going to be all right? Well, don't expect any miracles. Why not? Don't they happen anymore? Of course they do. Full function may never return. Yeah, but if it does, how long will it take? Oh, days, weeks, if it returns at all. I understand. In fact, he could speak at all as a miracle enough for me. Yeah, well, not for me. I want to hear you say he's going to be all right. I'm sorry, I can't say that at this point, Ricky. Look, Kevin, do you need me? No, no, but you're welcome to stay if you like. No, I have some personal matters to attend to, uh, if you'll excuse me. Shelly. Oh, right. What about Iris? You want me to keep her here? Come here. Just look at her. You think you could drag her away? You got it? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Your daddy does come home. Let's not tell him about Mr. Connor and me, okay? How come? Well, because we don't want to upset him. We want to make him happy, right? Yeah, but Mom, what if we can't? What? I what mean, are you talking about? I mean, he, he was all, I was only a baby. You're everything a daddy would want in a son, honey. But I was only a baby when he left. He might not like how I changed. Oh, Steve. Of course he will. Everything changes. It's one of the things in life that, that we have to get used to. Even your daddy. And he's going to be so proud that you're his son. He'll be so happy to see his son. Now, you go and eat dinner. Mr. Connor's here. Merry Christmas, Mr. Connor. Hey, Big Steve. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. We got in the porch and talk? Please don't. <laughs> 